If you're looking for something other than a Marshall in a box or a tube screamer, that's where this guy comes in. This is the high power two in one from Crazy Tube Circuits. This is handmade in Greece and it basically gives us a high watt amplifier section on this side with a dedicated overdrive and boost on this side. You can use either channel on its own or together and I'll showcase that throughout this video. Before we get into it, a massive thanks to the folks from Crazy Tube Circuits for sending this out. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down in the description box below. Have a listen to this. Let's take a look at the Crazy Tube Circuits high power pedal up close. So on this side over here with all the labels in white is our amplifier in a box type sound. So this gives us a full three band EQ, a master output volume, presence control and volume control. Now this presence control not only adds top end but it also sort of shifts the upper mid frequency. So it's a little bit like a two in one. We get a two way voicing switch over here which has 103 or 504. In the up position in 103, it gives us more headroom and more dynamic response. In the down position, it gives us a little bit more gain and also more compression. This three-way toggle switch over here is like our input section. So we get a bright input section with the toggle switch up. In the down position, it's the normal position, so not adding any extra brightness. And this is also linked mode, which combines them both. Everything in orange on this side relates to the boost circuit. So we get, again, a two-band EQ to help us shape our sound. We get a master output volume and this volume control here controls the gain. In the center of the pedal here, we have a two-way toggle switch. Now in the up position, the power mode gives us the 18 volt circuitry. And if you wanna go into the nine volt circuitry, just click it down. This is a very subtle effect, but it does change how the pedal feels to play. This pedal features a dedicated effects loop here. So if you wanna put an effect in the signal chain, you can this way. Our input is on this side and our output is over here. Now this pedal runs on nine volt DC. So if you've got any nine volt DC power supply, you're good to go. Crazy Tube Circuits are one of the premier pedal builders out of Greece. The Greeks, man, they're making some amazing stuff. I hope you like the tones. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off in today's video. I'm plugged into the clean channel of my Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue amplifier. And this Strat is loaded with a set of Lace Sensor Gold pickups. This is the clean tone with the pedal currently off on neck pickup. <laughs> Now, one of the great things about the left side of this pedal is how great the off-clean tones are. So I've got the gain most of the way down around nine o'clock. The master output volume is up at about one. Have a listen to this. And I should also point out that I'm on the normal channel of the toggle switch. Here we go. It actually enhances the top end, which is what I really like. Now, if we go into the bright mode, it's going to get even brighter on the tops. Furthermore, there's also a linked mode in the center here. This kind of combines both of those channels. You can actually feel the gain structure kind of change when you use the linked mode. It feels really great. Now let's try some single note stuff.
So you can definitely hear a difference between each of those three modes. And now with the game control at about one o'clock, we're gonna take a look at this two-way toggle switch over here, starting in the up position, which is the most open sounding position. Then as I flick it down, you're gonna get more compression and a little bit more gain. Here we go. You know, both feel really great to play if you turn down. Still cleans up beautifully in both positions. Let's have a look. And all the way up. Beautiful. Over to my Telecaster loaded with the Danny Gatton pickups, we're going to take a look at the presence control. Now I've dialed up the gain to about 3 o'clock or near enough, so this will be a bit more of a high gain sound. And I'm also using the toggle switch here on the bright setting to give myself a little bit more tops. Now this presence control is great, not only will it add or take away that extra top end shimmer, but it also sort of shifts the EQ of the upper mids. Let's have a listen to this. This bridge. <laughs> feels so great to play. Let us know what you think of the tones. And now with the gain control all the way up, I want to showcase just how dynamic this pedal is, even with the gain all the way up. So I've just re-EQ'd the pedal slightly, but this is with my volume control down. About half. All the way up. I mean, there you go, that's super dynamic. Over to the right hand side of the pedal, which doubles not only as a great clean boost, but you can also dial in the gain to give you a little bit of overdrive, or almost fuzz-like tones. We also get a two-way toggle switch. We'll start with it in the 18 volt mode with the toggle switch up. Now notice the EQ right here. I've got this dialed in so it doesn't affect the amp and guitar tone too much. So this is both pickups clean with the pedal off. There's a perceived difference between the toggle switch up and down. It's very subtle though. The 18 volt mode is by far my favorite. And now with the gain control at about three o'clock, I'm gonna start with my volume control down on neck pickup, then we'll crank it up and get over to bridge. Have a listen to this. Lastly, let's stack both sides of this pedal together. This is where it really shines. You can run this in so many different ways and combinations. And if you've got a single coil guitar, you can make it sound nice and fat. If you've got a humbucker guitar like this, you can bring the top end alive. It's up to you. But I'm gonna start with the gain control on the left-hand side at about one o'clock and the gain on this side at about 12. So this is how it sounds. <laughs> Yeah. 
it's still dynamic with the volume control and you can still get lots of top end whether you're playing on bridge or neck picker. Let's wrap this up. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Crazy Tube Circuit's high power two-in-one pedal. So if you're a fan of high watt amps, this would be an absolute no-brainer. But I just love the fact that a pedal company has released a pedal that isn't just another Marshall in a box or a tube screamer. So well done, Crazy Tube Circuits. This left-hand side is so musical. Whether you want to get a great off-clean tone or whether you want to get a higher gain tone, you can really make it work. It's super dynamic. You can use your volume control to get it to clean up beautifully. I think the strength of this pedal is being able to use the left-hand side as a dedicated amp sort of sound, and then use the right-hand side as a boost. But if you want, you can definitely use the right-hand side on its own for more of those lower gain to sort of mid-gain sounds. But the start of the show is the left-hand side, and then when you stack the right-hand side into it, you really sort of take the tones to the next level. So this is a great rhythm guitar pedal, or if you want to play lead, click on the boost. It's pretty cool. Let us know what you think. And if you want to check this out, I'll link it down in the description box below. Thanks for watching.